Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to paint on a t-shirt and turn it to this. If you're interested, stay tuned. Ho ho ho! I hope everybody's doing good. Hi everybody! So today, um, I want to share with you a video. Look at Lily. Hey Lily. Say hi. Lily. Lily. <laughs> she she doesn't like this okay so yeah I want to share with you um, a video to bring more Christmas spread in your house and um, and happiness so th in this video I'm gonna show you and teach you how to paint on a t-shirt which is hundred percent cotton I'm gonna explain everything better uh, during the tutorial but in this video, I'm going to show you how to paint on a t-shirt with acrylic paint. And I hope you enjoy it. If you are interested, okay, that fail. <laughs> if you are interested, please stay tuned. I'm going to let her go because she doesn't like that. All right, go baby. Go baby. <laughs> All right, this is the t-shirt. I just painted on. All right. And uh, yeah, I just use acrylic paint. And um, this is really fun project for um, you know Christmas. Um, you know, most of people wear uh, Christmas to uh, you know pajamas uh, in the morning of Christmas when they open the present. So you can do this project with your uh, friends, family, your kids, your parents, and um, enjoy it. I hope uh, you guys like it. Let me know what you think. Hey, <laughs> she's walking around my room. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye. All right, so in this tutorial, um, I'm going to paint on this t-shirt, which is 100% um, cotton. And um, I'm going to use acrylic paint uh, because, um, look, if it's 100% cotton, your fabric is, uh, acrylic is really good on it. You cannot use gouache or watercolor because gouache or watercolor are going to wash off. Uh, you can use oil paint, but oil paint takes a while to dry. So the best paint, if you don't have uh, fabric paint, is acrylic. And I want to tell you this, or if you have airbrush, airbrush paint is the same too. Um, they work um, like the same. So... Here is, I'm going to put something under it, so whatever I paint on it, not going to go under, you know, this side. So, you can, and pay attention, when you do that, don't stretch your, you know, your uh, fabric, because if you stretch it, it's going to pop, your paint going to pop up. So you just want to lay it down flat like this, like whatever it is. And make sure you get the wrinkles out. So I'm going to paint something Christmassy. So for me, I'm going to just go with let me show you you don't have to use any paints you can use any acrylic paint you can I assure you so I'm gonna start here my neckline and bring it up. Here's the like neckline. From neckline, I'm gonna go down about like three, four inches, and then I'm gonna start. I'm gonna go with 
just uh, I don't know if you can see it really good but I'm just doing this freehand Christmas tree yeah yeah if you can see it there you go and don't worry I'm gonna paint it See, it's just gonna go really, really cartoonish and easy. Let's go that way. Okay. So. Okay, you make this side a little bit bigger. Oh, eh, my tree. Everybody has under the tree. Hope you can see it good. I don't know if you can see it really good, but um, trying to go really light. So you're on the tree. And then we put some um, prison here. You go on. So there's one. There's, let's put another one like that. You know, because when you put the Christmas present under the tree. It's never like looking really oh uh, wait a second let's put this on top As much as you want, it doesn't matter. And then you want to put ornaments on the tree too. So just use your imagination. You can make a circle on here, cylinder. And oh, whatever. So this just um it like that and for ornaments like okay wait a second this is our tree okay and let's put lights hanging some stuff in here you know I want to make it really really easy so everybody can do it so and here a star let's put a star there why not yeah let's put a star on top there you go star I we put a lot of stuff here and there who knows you're gonna do a lot, a lot of goodies. 
whatever. <laughs> You're gonna have fun with it. So these are the colors I'm gonna use. So this is uh, uh, permanent sap green. I'm using cobalt green deep. I'm using um, Mars black. I'm using phthalo blue. I'm using titanium white. I'm using cadmium yellow deep, and I'm using pearl red pearl red so those are the colors i'm gonna use and i'm using um um the best water you can use is distilled water or uh, purified water don't use any water it has a lot of chlorine because it's gonna your paint gonna wash off really fast with two or three wash uh, in the washer machine i thin up the paint i want to show you how um they're not really thin, but they're not really thick. So, let me show you. So they don't, when you put your, I'm gonna use this paint first. So here, so you don't drip. It's pretty thick, but I put a lot of water in it. There you go, let's go. So now let's just paint. Um, I just, you know, paint flat. I don't make it really shadowy or any dark or light. Only just the pointy part of the tree um, coming out. I'm going to make it lighter and I just um, mix my colors on my t-shirt. So. If you cannot do that, just mix it in your palette. Um, yeah, that's all. Um, I'm going to paint the whole uh, tree and then I'm going to show it to you how it looks. Um, the whole point of this video is to have fun with your family and friends. It's really easy. It's not really complicated or, or hard. It's really an um, easy project. And everybody can um, do it but pay attention before you do that before you paint uh, you wash off your clothes if it's if it's hundred percent cotton because it always comes the smaller after you wash it now I'm here I'm using uh, number 10 a little bit more pointier uh, paintbrush so I can get those um, you know needly uh, part of the tree so yeah guys enjoy it have fun and uh, don't worry about it it's all gonna come together at the end
All right, guys, that's the tree. Um, I just painted it green. Um, it's in the middle. It's a little bit darker, but it was really, you know, happened. I didn't <laughs> do anything to make it that that way. It just whatever was on my paintbrush, I just put it on the t-shirt. So now I'm gonna make another kind of green, a little bit lighter. So to give it a little bit of, I mean, highlights. Um, just make, you know, you don't have to do that. You could, you could just uh, leave your tree like that, as it is. But I thought um, it would be nice to uh, put some, you know, highlights here and there. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. So yeah, I'm just, I don't know if you can see it really good, but yeah, maybe, uh, wait a second, uh, maybe I can just, yeah, here, focus a little bit, yeah, so yeah, I'm just putting like pointy lines here and there just to I don't know <laughs> give it different or a volume or different look uh, but un understand that you can you don't have to do that so I'm gonna finish this and be right back So now I'm just gonna paint under my tree. Um, so I decided to go uh, a color closer to the color of the tree, kind of bluish green. I don't know, as you see in this picture. Um, right now I'm doing it. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna finish that one and choose some colors for my presents uh, or gifts under the tree probably gonna go more brighter colors um, and uh, but I'm gonna fast forward it because it's gonna take a while uh, the process the same I'm going just flat um, colors you know flat paint I'm not you know mixing my paints in my palette I'm just mixing it on the t-shirt so the whole process is that so I hope you like it and uh, I hope I explain it really good I don't know but I actually I explain it exactly like I'm doing it. So let me know what you think.
Right now, I'm painting the balls. The ornaments are hanging from the tree uh, because I'm gonna use gold glitter. Uh, so uh, for under paint, I'm using uh, yellow color. Um, but if you um, have choose to use any other glitter, uh, make sure you use um, the color is close to that glitter. So yeah. I'm gonna paint all of them and come back and show it to you. Right now, I'm gonna use my glitter. Before that, I'm gonna just explain something to you. I'm gonna use two glitter. The see, as you see here in this picture, the one on the left is finer and is makeup uh, glitter. This one, uh, it's really good quality and it never bleeds. <laughs> so if you have makeup glitter, use those because these craft glitters, especially if they're blue, red, green, they bleed when you mix them with glue and I use super glue this crazy glue you can buy them uh, for a dollar or two I guess uh, from any store uh, and uh, they're clear they um, your glitter just I mean stick really good and when you wash it it's never gonna come off and it don't change the color of your glitter so yeah so I'm just gonna put some in there and grab some glitter with my paintbrush and I just sprinkle on the place I put the glue. I never put my paintbrush in the glue because it's gonna ruin your paintbrush. Just a sprinkle on it. Just tap tap tap, it's gonna come off. <laughs> and yeah, so every place you have the glue is gonna stick to you. And any other place just gonna come off so don't worry if it's gonna be messy around it uh, at the end you're gonna get rid of it all right I'm gonna do all of them and be right back <laughs> Now for this um, star I have here, um, I'm going to use the bigger glitter. Uh, this one is a little bit lighter gold and of course it's bigger. Um, and uh, because this glue is super glue and it dries really fast. So every um, I go, I have to go really fast. So I'm sorry if you cannot see it really good, but I just go pedal with pedal and just you know put the glitter on and then go to the next one and at the end uh, I put whatever at what place any place I think doesn't have any glitter on I just you know cover it and when you uh, you know fan it and it comes off you see what places doesn't have glitter so don't worry about it um, yeah that's it <laughs> Now I'm going to work on the presents and the gifts and make them look 
look like <laughs> they are actually a gift <laughs> but yeah you cannot just put box <laughs> i'm gonna put um, i don't know ribbons something bows whatever <clears throat> whatever you desire and you want to design um so you can even you know search and find um, the design you like and put it put it there so yeah i'm gonna work on these and make them look like gifts a little bit more <laughs> and um yeah um after this i'm gonna work on the other part of the tree and painting Right, now in this part I'm gonna um, put some lights I mean look like light <laughs> so I'm using uh, titanium white and I just put some dots uh, here and there on my tree um, you can use whatever color light you want like you can put red I don't know blue green but pay attention to have that contrast with your tree so you want it to bright up you don't want it to be really dark and if you want to use any other color than white um, mix your color with white so it's um, lighter and I'm gonna put these dots around and uh, I'll be right back So I put all the dots, I mean all the lights I want it to be, on the tree. And now I'm going around it with a little bit more watery um, white to give them these dots a little bit of glow. So they look like lights, you know, <laughs> lights are brightening or shining, whatever. Um, and, uh, you know, when you use, um, especially on the dark here, um, go with the same technique I'm saying. Um, it's going to dry a little bit darker, so you, maybe you have to go two times um, around those dots or three times, I don't know. It depends on what kind of acrylic paint you're using. Um, if you use a good brand, it's probably just one time or two times, but if you use the cheaper one, um, it's going to be a little bit more, but have, uh, you know, patient. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to, but I just thought it's going to look more like lights. So, it's why. 
So I did all these lights, um, put some lighter white around them to show that glow and you know shining feeling. Uh, you don't have to do it. And uh, when I finish with them, it's now here. I'm putting um, pure white again in the middle, so uh, it looks bright in the middle and really uh, kind of foggy, you know, around. So you have that look of a light or Christmas light. So, all right, guys, um, that's it for the lights. I'm going to come back and show you the other part. In this part, I'm trying to just cover those misty spots I made, as you see here. If you have uh, places like that, you know, <laughs> that you didn't pay attention, made a mess here and there, um, you can do this or when you can just leave it like that. So I decided to just paint a uh, snowflake on them and cover them so it don't look like messy. <laughs> um, or you can, I don't know, stick something to it like glitter, like uh, whatever you know you have in hand. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna use um, really light blue. Uh, for my snowflakes and the whole process is not really hard you can search how different shape of snowflakes look and um, paint it on your t-shirt you don't have to you know uh, do this but it kind of looks more wintry and uh, yeah for the season all right I'm gonna fast forward it forward it a little bit so you guys um, um, just don't have to watch this long video and uh, be right back All right, now I'm lining my uh, my whole project, my whole painting with uh, black. That way it looks more, um, I mean, clean, <laughs> I guess. And it looks more cartoonish, like a children's book. Uh, so um, I'm just using uh, kind of like a smaller paintbrush, more pointy. Um, Pay attention um, when you want to do that. You have to have your paintbrush filled with paint, black paint, and um, it may be a little bit hard for some people, but it's not really. Uh, you constantly put your uh, paintbrush in the paint and just go uh, with it. And never use marker because when you wash your clothes, it's gonna bleed out and it looks dirty and looks bad <laughs> so uh, just go with paint um, and if you cannot do it just leave it like that I guess um, so I'm gonna do all these and I'll be right back Alright, 
uh, as you see um, to me is the final project but if you want to make it I don't know more add more stuff to it you can do uh, it's your choice your design whatever you want to do but I like it uh, so I'm just gonna sign it and call this video finished I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope I uh, taught you something new or I don't know <laughs> let me know what you think and um, have a great day Thank you.